welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my home. So today, as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be tackling some refrigerator organization and I'm gonna give you guys my best tips. I have done quite a few refrigerator organizations in different refrigerators. If you guys have watched my channel for a few years, you already know that and I am excited to tackle this one. I kind of did a throw together organization whenever I moved into this house and ever since then, things have been kind of chaotic in my refrigerator and it's just been a little bit frustrating. So I have really taken note of things that we use a lot, needs that we have in our refrigerator and I have gotten a couple new things that I'm gonna be putting into it as well as things that have worked in the past. I know I get a lot of questions about where things are from so as always, there will be links in the description box for a lot of these things. I'm gonna quit rambling and we'll jump right into it. The first thing that we need to do is clean it out and it's really disgusting. <laughs> I've been putting it off because I knew I was gonna be filming this video and I feel like at this point It's probably going to take a little bit of scrubbing. So I'm gonna empty it out I know that there is a ton of condiments in there that need to be thrown away They're so old or else we don't use them So I'm going to really empty out what I've got going on and then we will tackle the organization and restocking everything Before we get into the scrubbing and cleaning out, I actually want to give you guys my first major tip. And this tip has really been learned by trial and error and having organized my refrigerator for a long time. And that is you don't always use the same bins every single week that you get groceries or every grocery haul. And basically I like to have a variety of bins and then I can move and shift them as I go. This whole idea of having your refrigerator organized once and that's the way it's gonna be forever just does not work. It's not practical. So what I like to do is actually store my extra bins that don't work for whatever I have in the refrigerator at the moment in that weird little cabinet that's above my refrigerator that most of us don't really know what to do with. It's a great place to store these and that way you can just grab them down whenever you are have more veggies that week or whatever. You can be flexible with it. Along with this idea, I also don't really label much of anything in my refrigerator. It's cute, I know it's Pinterest worthy, but it's not practical. We are constantly shifting food and veggies and things like that in and out of the refrigerator. And it's a little more practical to leave them unlabeled and to have clear bins that you can obviously see what's inside. I mentioned this a little bit in my first pantry organization video, which I'm getting ready to kind of revamp my pantry. There's just some things that aren't working for us that I need to do a little differently, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, you can go back and look at how I organized it the first time. And again, I had some bins I would say a good amount of bins that didn't have labels, but we could see what was inside of them because as you go through things, you change what's inside of them and you don't have to take off the label every time or make a new one every time. Your eyes can kind of see they are goldfish or they're Oreos. You don't really need to put a label on them.
I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with my friend Joy over at Organized with Joy. She is a mom of three with lots and lots of tips. She's so great at communicating all of her great organizing ideas, which she should be since she is a professional organizer in Texas. So you guys, when you're done watching this video, jump on over, check out her channel. I'll leave the links in the description box. You will not regret it. She is so positive and uplifting and she is also going to be sharing with you some great organizing tips today. Her video link will be in the description box. If you're coming from Joy's channel, welcome. I'm glad that you're here and I hope that you get a lot of inspiration and motivation today and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Okay, now that the refrigerator is clean and of course we'll get to the freezer here after a bit, but I wanted to show you guys this little set, which if you've watched my organizing videos before, you know that I've had this set forever. I love it. It works great. It's very, very budget friendly if you want to snag a good variety of bins. So it comes with two of these style bins, two of these, and they do have this little bump out that you can pull them out or you can turn them around and stack them like that. These stack as well. Um, so they come with two of the large ones and they also come with an egg container. And then this thing is for like drinks if you want to, like um, it, it fits a soda can. So I'm not gonna be using that today, but I, these fit really great in a narrow shelf I have and they pull out really easily and this um, configuration fits perfectly in there. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then I like egg containers. Some people hate them, some people like them, but part of my problem was I didn't have enough of them. So I actually went on Amazon and found another pack of two, which will be perfect. And these fit 14 eggs, which whoever came up with this is genius because then you're down to like two eggs. You can still throw in your new dozen and it works out good. Plus it takes advantage of the depth of your refrigerator. All right, something else that suddenly struck me the other day whenever I was getting ready to do this organization was why not get drawer dividers to put in that large drawer that's in there. So I just tested this one out and it's gonna work perfectly, although I am going to kind of install these as I'm putting things in the drawers so that I can move them around. I got two sets of four of them because I was hoping I could also use this as a freezer hack to kind of get some freezer organization. And freezers are so hard to organize, but with mine being the drawer style, I was hoping that these would work out. So stay tuned for that. We'll see if they work for that. And I think I'm going to start washing up veggies and getting things put into bins. And if you hear some lip smacking, they're eating the oranges that did not fit in that container that I just put together. But the next tip I have is to get yourself some clear jugs. And these ones specifically fit this size carton of milk, 
We are a family that drinks a lot of uh, dairy-free milks and they come in these cartons. And I don't know how many times I have went to reach for this, especially in the morning if we're in a hurry for cereal, and there is literally like an inch of milk in the bottom of here or it's basically empty and I didn't know it. So to solve that problem, I found these jugs or pitchers on Amazon. They fit this amount perfectly and I'll be able to see whenever I'm out of the milk. And also they're a little bit slimmer than the milk curtains are so they're gonna give me a little more space and they're taller. So because of my space that they're sitting in, I needed them to kind of take up the space going vertically. And the other thing too is these would fit very well in a very narrow um, shelf on a refrigerator door. So this is something I have wanted to try doing to see if I could sustain it, see if I could keep up with it for a really long time and I just never got all of the supplies to do it. So these are squeeze bottles and they are about 24 ounces. Um, that's the size or on the bottom that fit really well in my one shelf and basically the whole idea behind this is to make the most of my vertical space by getting taller bottles for ketchup and things like that. I, again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like keep up with it so maybe the next time I do a refrigerator restock or organization video I can let you guys know if it's working or not. So I did cut out labels for these. I'm going to put the labels on and fill them all up.
Okay, before we move on to the freezer, I just wanted to go over what I did in here. I'm so happy with this, and like I said, as much as it looks beautiful now, as soon as we start digging into it and using things up, of course things aren't gonna look as perfect, but I feel like I have created a pretty good system here, and one of the things I'm most excited about is just this whole situation. I never thought this would work as well as it has, but I think this is going to be a great way to keep my produce organized and also to keep track of what's spoiled and what's not and keep things from touching that could spoil each other. And with this drawer, it actually has a vent system so that I can keep a little bit of a handle on how much humidity goes into here. This row here has a lot of our yogurt stuff and like little cups. And then this is kind of like my deli area. I have deli meat and cheese in here and the milk. And then I sat these in here and you guys might be wondering why because I always get the question, where do the leftovers go? And I don't have any right now, but this is kind of where I have the designated spot for the leftovers. Also, this is a, I think it's a eight or 10 piece set from Amazon. I actually have two of the same set because I love them so much. So I will be sure to link those below. They have, they come in this size and then one size that's a slightly smaller than this one. I've got our bubblies here or our seltzer waters that we love to drink, some fruits and veggies up here, and the eggs. I'm ready to definitely dig into the freezer. This worked out perfectly. I did a lot of measurements for this shelf to make sure that these would fit in here. And like I said, I will try to let you guys know at some point if I can maintain refilling them and all of that. And then because we live in town, we have to have the extra waters around. Up here is some cheese and some butter. So perfectly organized. I feel like I've got a little bit of extra wiggle room if I've got to put some other things in here and I'm super happy with it. So let's jump to the freezer. All right, so this was a pretty simple um, setup, but again, it's gonna be super flexible whenever I get new things or change things around. Plus I have a deep freezer, as most of you know, if you follow my cooking channel. And so I had some stuff up here I needed to move down to that anyways. This is more just kind of our grab and go stuff, like extra veggies, things to throw in the air fryer, like nuggets and fries and stuff like that. And then we freeze yogurt sticks all the time, so that was nice to kind of keep them corralled because sometimes they get underneath of everything and the girls get really frustrated because they can't find the yogurt sticks, but they're just in the bottom of the freezer. These are just some popsicles. These are ice trays that I really, really love. If you have a drawer style freezer, you may like these. I'll link them below. They are from Amazon, but they have a lid and seals so you can fill them, throw them in here, and you don't have to worry about setting anything on top of them or anything like that and then this is where I keep the bacon I always freeze my bacon just because I can throw it in some hot water and thaw it out really quickly in the morning for breakfast and I do still actually have another divider that I could put in here but I decided to leave the bottom open just for bags and it just made more sense to do it that way so anyways very happy with this setup and I'm so glad with how all of this has turned out Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Joy's video linked below and I will see you all in my next video.